Hello guys, welcome to Geeks to Geeks. Today we are going to see another problem. Maxims are using k numbers from 1 to n. The problem statement is, given a positive integer n and k, find maximum zor of 1 to n using at most k numbers. Zor sum of 1 to n is defined as zor of all the numbers from 1 to n. Let's understand this using an example. If our input number n is equal to 4 and k is equal to 3, that means we have to find the combination of numbers from 1 to 4 and at most we can use 3 numbers to find the maximum ZOR value. So the output is 7 because the maximum possible ZOR sum is the ZOR of 1, 2 and 4. Let's see another example. If n is equals to 11 and k is equals to 1, that means we have to find a number in the range from 1 to 11 which has maximum ZOR value but we can use maximum 1 value. So whenever k is equals to 1, that means the maximum value that we can obtain is the number n itself. So the output is 11. Let's see how to solve this problem. The problem is divided in two cases. In the first case, when k is equals to 1, in this case the maximum ZOR sum is the largest number in the range 1 to n, that is n itself. In the second case, whenever k is greater than 1, then the maximum ZOR value that we can obtain using k numbers is when we will have all the bits set to 1. So the result is a number greater than n with all of its bits set to 1. How do we achieve that? Well, we will use left shift operation to find the next power of 2, which is just greater than n, and then we will subtract 1 from it to make all bits set. Let's see the code for that. Here, we have defined a function max zor sum, and it takes two parameters, the integer n and the value of k. Now, First we check if k is equals to 1. If that is true, then we simply return the value of n indicating the maximum zor possible is the number n itself. Else we initialize the variable ls is equals to 1 to perform the left shift operation in order to find the next power of 2. We run a while loop and each iteration we check if result is smaller than or equal to n. As long as res is smaller than or equal to n, we keep shifting res to its left by one position to obtain the next power of 2. Let's understand this using this table. Let's say we have n is equals to 4 and the value of k is greater than 1. We initialize num is equals to 1 which is equivalent to res that we just saw in the code. Now in each iteration we left shift num by one position. Now it becomes 2. We check if 2 is smaller than or equal to 4. That is true so we go for the second iteration. In the second iteration we again shift num by one position and its value is 4. Since 4 is smaller than or equal to 4, condition is true, we go for the third iteration. In the third iteration, by after shifting a num by one position, the value becomes 8, and which is not smaller than or equal to 4. So the condition is false, and we exit out of the loop, and then we subtract 1 from 8, and we get this binary number, which has all of its bits set, and the maximum possible value, which is equivalent to 7. We can also see here in the code, once we exit out of the loop, sub we subtract res by 1 to make all its bits set to 1 and we simply return the value. The time complexity of this approach is O of log n and the space complexity of this approach is O of 1. Thank you for watching. Please leave us your likes and comments.